Hey, 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 it's Rod Bergeron here with you. And um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my YouTube channel because um, I'm changing things around. I, you know, I have been producing videos that were just for YouTube. In other words, it wasn't necessarily my work. I guess the studio vlogs that I've been doing have been my work and the studio vlogs that I've been doing have always been, you know, me trying to show you what it is that I produce. But a lot of the other videos that I do for YouTube have all been videos of projects that I think other people wanted to see or wanted to see me do. And I've decided that I'm not going to do that anymore or I'm going to do it less maybe because there is times where students ask me, you know, relevant questions and I want to give them, you know, relevant answers. Um, but I'm going to start doing more of my own work on YouTube. So here's an example of it. Here's one of the very first ones that I'm going to do. It's me building this little tiny bridge. So please check it out. And um, I really want to hear from you. So leave me a question or a comment in the comment section below. If you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a look. Okay, so I'm building this little rope bridge for my tree houses. This is going to be um, from one side of my studio to the other joining two tree houses. So, you know, I really like creating narrative and one of the things is how would, you know, how, how could people get from one tree house to the other. So I'll show you how I'm doing this. Um, these are these little craft sticks. You know, they're sort of like tongue depressors. But what I've been doing is, here's my example one. So I just put this on here, and because this is the template one, then it just gets used over and over again. And I just simply take a pencil and do that. And then put this on here. And do that. All right, set my template aside and I put my ruler on here. And it's really important when you're cutting these things that you use a metal ruler. And this is a really sharp utility knife. And I'm gonna put my glasses on. And you make three passes. One, oops, see how that go a little bit there. One, two, three. The same here, one, two, three, flip it over, do the other end, one, two, three, close it up. I'm cutting it on my cutting mat here so I don't cut into my plywood. And then what I found is it's much more uh, cleaner if you do that with a little pair of pliers, especially on the end pieces. All right, and then to get it uh, to get it cleaned up, you could use a piece of sandpaper, but I'm just doing that and that. Those ones are pretty good. And I always try to remember that I'm I'm trying to build this like a kid would build things. Okay, so I'm not really measuring a lot. I'm using the same. Uh, the same piece to uh, as a template for all of them all right so then I do that so I have my holes and I need to get this string through so I have to drill a pretty big hole in each one of these I'm just gonna set that aside and yeah so I'll show you how I drill this now all right so this is a Dremel tool and if you've never used one of these, it's really, it, this turns uh, super fast. I think it's like 10,000 RPMs or something like that, but it's fast anyways. But you can put a whole bunch of different bits in here. So you can put bits in here to sand things with, engrave things. This is just a regular drill bit that's in here. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna drill out these holes. So you'll see pretty quick.
pretty quick. And then, um, yeah, so then I just string these together. So the string that I'm using for this bridge is this stuff here, which is in, uh, like, it's like a type of embroidery floss. Let's see if I can find the end of it here. Anyways, it all frays on the edge, you know, so you have to pass it through here. And I'm doing a hundred of these, so um, it kind of sucks to try to pass it through. So I found a solution to that. So the solution is, I'll set this one aside. I light this candle. And um, I get a little bit of wax on here. And I dip that into the wax, the end of it into the wax, the hot wax there. And then just sort of pull it like that. And it gets quite pointed like a, you know, like a shoelace would. And I do that on both sides. Yeah. And that, um, that'll make it so that uh, you can pass that through the hole without having too much problem. All right, so the way that I put these on is I put it through the bottom, pull it through, back down through the other side, and then pull it quite a ways through. Then I do the same thing on the other side. Through the bottom. Out, then from the top, back down, pull it tight, and then slide it along here so it's pretty even. You won't get it perfectly even. I'll have to straighten it up once I get them all on there. But yeah, that's it. So. Uh, you know, 99 more times like that and I'll have the bridge finished.